Yes. As per instruction of chairman of this uh, organizing committee, uh, so if anybody wants to say something about this uh, past two days uh, symposium, so all are welcome, but you have a limited time, so it is very important. So we, are, we have to finish it by five, because tomorrow there is some, uh, from tomorrow there are three days uh, workshop or some campings are going on. So for this regard they have to do it. preparations, a lot of preparation has to be done. So in keeping this in view, so I request you all to speak very less to the point, no, uh, do not uh, extend your speech. Okay, so first of all, I, you want to say something? Yes. So, so yes. you have no more than five minutes. Please. Five minutes is too long, one minute. <laughs> Good evening. We had very pleasant experience sharing our thoughts and receiving many thoughts from the conference participants. The only grows, if at all, was about the lack of time because each of the sessions were so much packed and the thoughts that the proponents wanted to put in our heads, they require much more churning and if at all we get more time to deliberate upon these things, that would serve the purpose and I think that we should have a collaborative effort to continue these efforts in further of the deliberations wherever it is and I sincerely um, pray that the proceedings are recorded and they are put in separate separate episodes on the YouTube channel so that everyone would be able to watch them in posteriority so that uh, it could also be shared with other participants and the, we are very few here but I am very sure that thousands of people are interested in such concepts and they would benefit from these sharing. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody want to say something? Please. Any idea you have that uh, based on this some proceeding will be also published? So that I ask my chairman or the organizing committee. Like <laughs> so. So first we will ask our honourable VC for the, his approval, and thereafter we will do according to the, his instruction. So we have to be to according to the yeah. Okay. So anybody want to say something? Yeah, feedback and comments and any things you needed to say, you are welcome. Yeah, please come, please. Yeah, please, madam, come here and see. So it is more better. So you will be very video graph here. <laughs> Um, actually, I just wanted to express my appreciation to everyone for this event. It was a surprise for me. I was engaged in another project here at the university, and it was a big surprise to see an event of this topic, which I think is, would be very rare to find in the West, uh, bringing science and geometry together in a, a sacred uh, conversation. So I hugely appreciate the conversation. It's something that I've been really interested in for many years, and now I feel like I've got um, a lot that I can work from and uh, a uh, lot more exploration to go, uh, but I feel like I have some pointers now and some maps, and so I really appreciate uh, everyone for for participating in all of the wonderful talks that they gave, and also the organizers, because I thought it was done so beautifully with a lot of care, and uh, so thanks. So next, so you want to, please come here, sir. Okay, please. Yeah. Your feedback is very important for us. Yes, well, I definitely thank all the organisers. I mean, Champa has helped me a lot, sort of uh, getting my diagrams into the computer. Mm -hmm. Some of them took a long time to download. And 
all of us, some of you have come a long way uh, to, to present here and obviously everyone's got their time limits. Uh, you know, many scholars have got students and like me, you know, I'm busy writing my next books and uh, so one's thinking, oh, book, uh, come here and sort of spend a couple of days means X number of you know, days not writing a book or something of that nature. So the time limits actually for, for those of us that are uh, scholars is actually quite important. It's a sacrifice. Um, what I, I'm quite saddened to see, of course, is there's so few um, students or uh, people apart from us that uh, are the scholars actually here listening and being part of the debate. And what uh, I think somebody mentioned putting it on YouTube and uh, this idea of putting this talk, if it's been recorded and on a YouTube and cutting it into the segments would be very valuable. I mean, I, I gave a talk many years ago in Kalampong and I never thought much of it. And the um, you know, last time I looked at the, uh, in YouTube, it had over, well, close to half a million viewers. <laughs> so, uh, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, my talk at that time was only to a small audience. It doesn't really matter the audience. And, and it, you know, it's the, over some years, you can reach a half a million people with, with the discussion. I mean, that, that is quite valuable. So um, the organisers, if they could um, present our talks in a, in a very you know, rational way with proper editing and so forth. Um, some background, <laughs> doesn't need to have background music or whatever. Um, it, on YouTube and, and um, it can reach a lot of people and also therefore the next time a symposium of this nature is um, organised um, you may have a whole coterie of, uh, of individuals that you can contact that would want to come. Um, so you've got that uh, background of um, advertisement there. Uh, because people nowadays are always on their little iPhones, which basically I detest. But anyway, they're on their little iPhones sort of all the time uh, getting information and they pump in a few keywords and up comes a whole string of things and I'll watch the YouTube or something like that. So um, this idea, I think, is, has to be the, the, the extension of where we're at. And apart from that, you know, I've had a good time. I've learnt a lot, as we all have, from everyone else's presentations. Unfortunately, my presentation, <laughs> I was going to use a lot of whatever other people said and I couldn't. Um, so... Uh, that's, so I thank everyone um, for coming here, for giving their time, for, for um, giving the result of their research. Um, we've produced a bondage of friendship. Of, uh, we've not, you know, most of us not met each other before, and now we know each other, and we, we can continue um, sort of interrelationships, and I think that's also um, quite important. So that's all I really need to say. If you can... Um, the organisers can put it into YouTube and present it properly. It uh, could reach, you know, over a year or two, a half a million people, and that's worth our effort, is it not? Thank you very much, Budula. Then anybody else? <coughs> so, Professor Vikramji. <coughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I thought the last session was an interesting session. And uh, Rana Saab, yes. you did yourself proud. Now we know that you're a true, true Banasi. <laughs> Nobody knows where you're going, including yourself. <laughs> so I, I, I think uh, one of the good things over here has been uh, the humor. I think it's very good to have uh, a debate because everything that is going on over here is very debatable, I dare say. But uh, it's good to have a debate, but you have to have humor in it. Otherwise, of course, the debate doesn't go very well. <laughs> and um, I was just going to say, see, as a matter of fact, uh, 
I wanted to point out that um, on Madhu's uh, persuasion, we were planning to give a course, which is a sort of a paradoxical kind of course, on religion, on ecology, religion, and science. Uh, and the reason we, we thought of doing this kind of course was that um, by ecology we mean, you know, whatever is going on in the planet. That obviously came first. Religion came after that, right? Even in Banaras. Um, <laughs> and science came after that. <laughs> because um, any, anything that was heretic, then you were going to be whatever, either burnt at the stake or thrown into the Gange, Ganga. Ganges to Kenani Chege, otherwise we will invite a lot of harm. And so, um, so the thing was that it, it's, a, it's a very funny situation. We thought, why should we do this course? Uh, the thing is that after human settlement started uh, happening, um, we found that, uh, that we, you know, we had tribal settlements and we had... Um, and then we started getting these cities where religion started coming in, temple cities, we've been talking about them, the architecture. Uh, we had uh, um, church cities or, uh, you know, like the Vatican or cities in Europe. And we had caliphate cities like in uh, parts of the Middle East. And other kind of cities in, in China also. And um, I, I think then... What happened was then came the Industrial Revolution, or you can start with Galileo, but it's much later. And then we suddenly found that science was actually pushing religion right out of the door or the window or whatever. But fortunately that didn't happen because science can't address everything at all. And there are many, many things that we talked about over here, which I think cannot be addressed by science. The ironic part is that at this meeting, everybody has been trying to... Ad all the people who are talking about uh, civilization, religion, tradition have been ac actually trying to use science to, to say, no, 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 everything over here can, is confirmed by science. I don't think this is true. Okay. I think it, 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 it's maybe not uh, the most uh, uh, potentially, potentially um, hopeful, successful thing to do, to try and use science to explain everything that goes on inside the being of a human being what you think, but, uh, but, but I think you can say something about that. So I think these are, these are two different things as far as I can observe. And one thing is that clearly that came out in this meeting was that I think that science is you generally reductionist and gradually turning into holistic because people realize that you can't explain a lot of things about living systems at least uh, by being reductionist. And uh, being is something which is a little bit beyond that. It, 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 it is certainly holistic, but certainly not reductionist. But we don't even know in which way it is holistic. So um, I think this kind of debate actually will, will go on forever. But what I think could be very useful over here is that we are in a very troubled world right now, which is really in turmoil. I mean, it could be anything. You know, it could be the fact that we never got rid of nuclear weapons and so they are there. It could be the fact that uh, we our, our democracies are actually going into, into, into complete failure. Uh, that there's, uh, as far as human beings are concerned, they seem to be fighting more with each other than they were even before. So how do we deal with this kind of situation? And in, especially in this country, the population is just too big for this country to handle it the way it is handling it right now. So, um, and in terms of, as I talked about the planet and as well as society, we seem to be in a very hazardous situation. And it's a situation which is different from before because now it is the waste uh, and the technology is actually beginning to exceed the scale of the planet. So what do people believe in? I mean, I'm just trying to say that if we are going to have meetings like this, so people believe. People don't believe as such in, in, in science. They want to use science, but they don't believe in science. People believe in whatever they believe in. And it's very difficult to shake those beliefs, as we noticed from the last chairman. That uh, we had their beliefs about Banaras, their beliefs about yourself, their beliefs about what is right, their beliefs about how to conduct your life. 
And young people today seem to be actually living in a bit of an ideological vacuum. As a matter of fact, all of them are really trying to seek a career and realizing that that's not enough. So there's a real need for, uh, I think, in some sense, um, some kind of a unity which we have art, science and philosophy. There's certainly a need for philosophy because we have to understand what the hell life is about. Why are we living? What for? And I think it's a question that we haven't addressed enough at this meeting. That's what I feel. And it needs to be addressed. But the second thing is that the belief systems, as far as religions go, are very strong. And uh, the belief systems actually are not only strong, they are institutionalized. I mean, people go to temples and people go to mosques and people go to churches. And once you've gone there, you feel you've done it. That's it. It's, you know, you, you had to get to that point and that's what's happened. Whereas on the other hand, I mean, um, if you go on a pilgrimage, the pilgrimage, who was talking about uh, Compostela? You were talking about Compostela? Uh, well, I don't know if you've done it, but I have done it. Okay. Then, then, then have you, you've done Shikoku. I've also done Shikoku. You haven't done Shikoku. I have done Shikoku. Okay, okay. okay, okay. But, but 1800 kilometers you've been walking? <laughs> okay, <laughs> there we are. Okay, we are getting somewhere, finally. <laughs> okay. So, I've done those two and of course uh, Mount Athos. Now, the interesting thing is that all those pilgrimages are walking pilgrimages. And everything in India was a walking pilgrimage. It was not to go hit the destination as people have been doing and come back because that doesn't do anything for you. It was walking, it was forgetting about your shop. It was then finding your feet and walking up in the mountains. You picked up, you, then your body started actually functioning. Your legs started moving. And then finally it was about spirit. And it was a total rejuvenation. And that's what pilgrimages are about. So in some sense, the pilgrimage addressed uh, 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 the communion with nature. Okay? We have lost that. We've lost that everywhere in the world. So somehow if we are going to come back on, on any reasonable kind of trail, I think we need to have meetings like this where science and religion have to get together. And what uh, we had decided was that right now the two people who seem to understand this and who seem to want to do something about it are the Dalai Lama and the Pope. The Pope has been also an incredible influence recently. He's not only a very liberated man, but I think he's somebody who's full of self-awareness. So these two people have taken the lead. Uh, I'm sorry to say my fraternity of the scientists have not. They haven't even been able to stop nuclear weapons. I don't know. And they don't speak out. But maybe the problem with scientists is that nobody believes them. and Nobody knows who they are. One minute. See, that's what I'm saying. See, no, no, but they, or people also don't know who they are because science is not a belief system. So somewhere... Maybe you can actually say, talk a little bit about this. How do we combine these things to make you know a better life, a better planet, and things like that? Now, and so this is this is one of the things that such meetings could perhaps go forward in addressing. Sorry to be so serious, but uh, this is Banaras, and I think uh, the monopoly for <laughs> amusing you and keeping you amused and happy belongs to Dana Sahib. <laughs> Only one word I have to add. You have already performed pilgrimage for Santiago de Compostela, then Shikoku. Please also do Panchkoshi Panch Yatra here. Yatra. Then the Trinity and then you will be a real bicker. <laughs> 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 So, can you announce that we are now going to go on a pilgrimage after this? <laughs> So, anyone wants to be say something? Then, then I request. No, no. So now, co-chair of this symposium, Madam Madhu Kanaji, please. Yes. First and foremost, I want to express my deep appreciation and and very big thank you for having us here. And for and the wonderful hospitality, the the grace with which we were welcomed, the lovely inaugural uh, inaugural session, and the discipline 
uh, you know, uh, that you have uh, inculcated among the young is formidable because one has gone to so many seminars for the last decade and every seminar I've gone to in any other university is always a chaos. But this was indeed a cosmos in that sense, you know. So thank you for retaining that tradition of, um, of, of some kind of, a, uh, you know, orderliness in life which we rarely see even in our stations and, you know, public spheres. And obviously, um, the great um, uh, Honorable Dalai Lama and his whole team, uh, you know, has inculcated a certain ethics uh, which we should be proud of. What we have lost, but Banarsis have lost, they have retained. <laughs> okay, so this was one of the things. Now, on a more serious note, I think, you know, as I was telling you that when I met Professor Roy, he was very kind uh, to invite me to NEAS, and there was this amazing um, uh, uh, conference on, they have an amazing project, they're called Consciousness Project, and it was an international uh, conference, and there was a panel on religion, and I was part of that, that's how we met. And, and, one, and the whole dialogue really started from there. And maybe it was there even before where Honorable uh, His Holiness has started these dialogues, you know, between art and science, uh, science and philosophy. But art was a bit missing. It was there, but it was but not he, so he, manifest. He inaugurated the conference. Yes, yes, yes. 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 So, so basically my humble request is that this is the topic uh, of Kalyug, because you know all the educational streams must come together now. Yes. We have lost the connection, and if we are to save the planet, we have to really, uh, you know, understand the relationships of different disciplines and how they feed into each other. And indeed, the whole universe is a biotic web, so we have to understand. We'll understand the currents of that biotic web much better if we were to retain our scholarship in all these subjects. So my request is that it should not end, Honorable, uh, when, <laughs> Venerable <laughs> Chairperson. What I would request is that every year we should have something, some small topic, you know, uh, and you know, you have such a beautiful place. We don't want to invite ourselves, but <laughs> if you invite us, <laughs> if you give us a space, even for a day and a half, we could bring the right people you know, a small group deliberating on issues. So this, this can go on. And I think we should we also have to regenerate this idea in Delhi and in, in Banaras and other places, uh, perhaps in different uh, uh, universities also, so that they also come to know how important this topic is. And, they are, and this is just the beginning, but this is, just a, we've, this is like a chingari, you know, the first flame. Now, hopefully, this flame will, uh, you know, it will will have an outburst, and you know, it, like one candle lights another candle, and then it becomes all. So it should it should really be part of the mainstream education in India, according to me. And yesterday, when we were talking to Professor Tripathi, he he also felt the same that there is so much dialogue going on all over the world, but in India, there is nothing going on. So we also, I also requested him, and he, he promised that he's going to do something. Mm -hmm. So I think we should all be committed to the idea of taking this further and involving younger people, you know, younger scholars to listen to us who've had some experience. So uh, I'm not going to say goodbye. I just want to thank each one of you for accepting a joint invitation. And I really have to thank uh, Professor Sissi Roy for, uh, for actually bringing us together. He was the motivating factor. And then when uh, Honorable Vice, Chair, uh, Vice Chancellor came to Delhi, he called me up, he said, where are you? I said, I'm at home. He said, just come to IIC, we can meet and talk about this seminar. And in five minutes, it was Honorable Vice Chancellor said, yes, we will have it, you know? And I have to thank Jampa for all our wonderful communication and everybody else who's been involved, all those who've gone unnamed, I don't know, lots of young people were helping. So we are going back with, we put on, I'm sure all of us have put on a kilo at least <laughs> in two days. <laughs> Lovely hospitality, wonderful ideas have been generated, many new ideas. 
how to link the idea of order with society and with you know con con art making and uh, so many you know different rituals so i think we touched many areas and also i think one of the things that needs to be taken further is this i take to geometry and landscape which is we we should do the whole of india that way you know different places and also make this understand that how everything is interrelated and a certain science was developed in india uh, in the medieval period and post most post medieval period where the architects were so sensitive to this idea of natural forces which contemporary architects have forgotten so these are some of the things i think we we'll, we have to take further and i would request uh professor roy that he should always put art somewhere in the center <laughs> because science and philosophy yes they've always been married and wedded in one way but some of arts and culture of uh, not only the classical art which we are talking about but also you know a craft the amount of design and crafts we have in indian craft is just amazing you know craft and tribal traditions so all these ideas i think we need to put together now no division yes 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 even in like kumar swami says that is not that artist is a special kind of person but every person is a special kind of artist so that's so with these words i lend so thank you very much one information i have to add really because that came to my mind while i was talking to our revered vice chancellor Samten ji, about 20 days ago when we met Girja ji and he set up here together, and then he personally informed me that look, government of India and government of Uttar Pradesh together, they have formed a committee based on the Buddhist pilgrimage routes and yatras with a deeper sense, not like tourists. And that's why he requested me that why not you are joining? Then I say you give order, I am always following. so like that so that is another thing what you have given reference that that this particular place so maybe in future something with this special reference to buddhist sites and then the whole ideology like that and already in korea the sacred landscape and buddhist philosophy they have two three times seminar i attended that so pure practical things and then using scientific things and this art so here is our guruji from where i have learned alpha beta i know only alpha and beta not more than that and that is 35 years long story okay so i have never read anything and that was his inspiration that uh, somehow i wrote a popular garbage type of book but that is very popular book where the buddha walked so this is called the series the i put a name walk and talk no need of any guide and don't worry about that what literature says and what is the date what is the iconography no 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 go right like this the book described like, go this much then there is a tree left hand side this is like this and this way that is a popular book so many people like that many people hate this so that is good good and bad and that is a banaras <laughs> so there, so i hope that this idea that i put before <laughs> guruji because he can take lead again to knock the door and that will give us uh, what uh, mother ji wanted in future also so let this sacred art going on and i don't know who who said that one another information is that in the west generally not talking like this a very good number i am also member of that committee that is called architecture culture speciality group and when you want to be member then you have to prove what you have done and what you are planning to do then the committee will do. and they have always bulletin quarterly bulletin now india i am representing and highlighting all these such things so there is good organization thomas berry a classic book classic book two volumes you can read okay that is west but west with all deeper feeling so it is nothing like that oh, so much isolate oh you are says everything thank you very much Yeah, yeah, from student, any feedback in? Please come. Yeah, yeah. Your participation is very important. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
First of all, I would like to greet you all, Tashi Dele in Tibetan, Namu Namaha in Sanskrit, and a very what to say hi to in English. <laughs> so, uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, it's an it's an honor that uh, uh, to be part of this symposium in presence of so much distinguished scholars. And uh, as a student participant, I really learned a lot from this particular symposium. Actually, I'm uh, I always like take part in various seminars, conferences, workshops. Uh, but this symposium, I think, is. Uh, uh, something unique and something uh, really a kind of uh, thought-provoking because there are lot of, lots of distinguished uh, guests uh, visited from various universities and colleges and I really do appreciate uh, their uh, paper presentations and uh, you all uh, have really kind of affected and impacted us in many ways. Uh, we we did not uh, learn uh, just uh, about uh, the interplay of art, science, philosophy, geometry, design in nature, but we also have learned uh, the interpersonal skills you had shown, uh, uh, the, be uh, the behavior uh, you, like uh, we had in these two days. So I feel like a little bit nervous, but would like to pay my great uh, uh, greetings to you all. Thank you. And especially uh, regarding, uh, Madam said, uh, the art has been a little bit lost somewhere. But I would like to say uh, our philosophy, our science of this humanity is also an art. In, it uh, is also an art in itself. So uh, I don't think it's uh, missing somewhere. Uh, we have to just uh, identify. <laughs> So I also want to uh, like uh, pay uh, my uh, heartful thanks to Prof Professor Sony because uh, uh, he today morning talked about democracy, and actually uh, as a young student, a young student as a young younger generation, uh, like we somehow had that uh, notion of like uh, some negative. Uh, interpretation or what to say, negative uh, kind of thought we always have about society, uh, about humanity, uh, kind of a rebel nature. Uh, but uh, but uh, the encouragement and uh, the uh, what to say, uh, the inspiration that Professor Sony like kind of uh, talked about in today's morning presentation, uh, we also kind of felt a kind of recognition that. Uh, uh, yes, uh, old people also think like that, the negative kind of uh, uh, view about society a little bit. So I'm kind of a little bit inspired and also from uh, Professor Pranabji uh, about <laughs> the view of Banaras, the good and bad. It's really uh, an insightful kind of uh, thing. So I deeply uh, thank you all for being here in this university. Thank you. Okay. Professor Rana student. La. Good evening, everyone. Greetings of the day. My name is Priya Singh. I am a research scholar from BHU. My research area is Varansi, so I learned a lot from this uh, session, and I'm thankful to Mr. Jamba for giving me this opportunity to attend. And I'm also thankful to the organizer. I am very much delighted from the food <laughs> which was offered and hospitality. 90% what Madam said was uh, what I wanted to say, so it's all said, already said. And I will be looking forward for the more sessions like this in future. Uh, and especially what I liked here is the cleanliness, peace, the atmosphere. Yes, definitely. <laughs> yes, and the sessions were very interactive. 
we keep going at uh, different places but we don't see these type of interaction at the time of session so that is also th cheers and uh, that's it thank you everyone thanks then now i request uh, professor ss roy ji the main initiator of this symposium and uh, uh, co-chair as well. So I now request Professor Cesar Oaj to say something. Good afternoon. I mean, my co-chair Madhuji has already said uh, when she proposed uh, this kind of idea, then uh, I was in Delhi and uh, having a meeting with uh, Samtenji and uh, then I called her immediately and something he told, okay, we can meet within five minutes. And after listening, he told, okay, we agreed, we have a place, and uh, we can arrange the meeting. And uh, then we had a problem of, uh, you know, having funds and all this. So he told, okay, uh, give an estimate, give a budget for that. And uh, this is a very interesting topic. So he sanctioned uh, the required budget. And... Uh, I mean, uh, this symposium, this two-day symposium is uh, very interactive and uh, many, many ideas came from different fields, not only from science, uh, arts, uh, architecture, mm -hmm. and uh, history. So uh, we, we uh, need to involve more young people in future because uh, people might say we are, <coughs> hey, we are uh, old people, we are retired, going to be retired, so these people have nothing to do, just do philosophy, come to Benaras, and uh, looking for heaven or hell, whatever the things. Mm. So the main thing I, I'm discussing, even uh, too many organizations in government, uh, like Department of Science and Technology, and ICPR, Indian Council for Philosophical Research, or ICCR, uh, about uh, the more uh, detailed programs, how we can really uh, involve the young people, and they can get some idea or some knowledge. But the problem which I'm facing, uh, I, I talked to uh, many big people in Delhi, they are telling that, okay, we can invite you uh, to present your idea here mm -hmm. regarding the future programs. Mm -hmm. But uh, one main question, uh, uh, I mean, in the committee there will be hardcore scientists, mm -hmm. mostly. Mm -hmm. So they will ask uh, what kind of insights the young people will get it from these kind of interactions. Uh, and um, this is very, very deep questions. Uh, so I, I was discussing with uh, uh, Dr. Nagendra, who is Chancellor of Swami Vivekananda Yoga Anushandhan Kendra, and he is Chairman of IUS and uh, Advisor, one of the main advisors of PM Modi. Mm -hmm. So I, I told him also these things because he is involved for many years in uh, yoga philosophy and uh, you know, Ayurveda and a lot of things. So he told that uh, maybe uh, within uh, next year or so, we need to meet several times or the experienced people, I mean senior and uh, even young people, to understand really what kind of insights the students, suppose, say one of my students is working on quantum theory, mm -hmm. and uh, he says that, okay, there is a conference of like this, I want to join. Then I will ask uh, what kind of insights you'll get it. Because uh, we, we normally arrange school like school of high energy physics, school of astrophysics, school of biology, government has detailed program like this. So they are asking that if a person from hardcore science, he or she likes to participate, what kind of insights he will get it? We, we need to clarify it. Otherwise, it's very hard to crack. We can arrange several meetings. We can get some funds from many sources, but it is necessary. Unless we do it, then what will happen, you know, in most cases, young people, they go to United States, they get their PhD on consciousness study itself, for example, they will come back, then we will say, okay, let us try to build up a department where consciousness study programs can be done. These kind of things are going. Even in yoga, meditation research, the West is go, I mean, far ahead from us. Yeah. So... We, we need to start really a good programs and uh, which will motivate the young people. So I, my request to all these people here, they 
should give us guideline really what kind of insights we can get it from studying ancient Indian wisdom, both Buddhist and non-Buddhist traditions. This is very much essential. And maybe we can choose some of the topics, not all the topics at a time, maybe two or three topics. Uh, actually, I was talking to Professor Bhien Jha, who is a great Indian scholar. So he, he told me that, Shishir, you just think, say, we take the concept matter itself. We take the concept space and time. And you are in small meetings with serious scholars from both sides, scientists and the traditional scholar. And let us try to have some kind of discussions, very intense discussions. Because we, we, we are speaking in different language. Traditional people, they speak in language which we, most of us don't understand. And we speak in different language. So we need intense kind of discussions among us. Unless we can do it, really it's very difficult to bridge up. So let us think over these issues. And uh, people like, I mean, they are here. The arrangement of such small meetings is not very difficult. It's not very expensive. expensive. Yeah. I, I was talking to Samtenji also that uh, this kind of things, we should do it. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, thank you for all for arranging this uh, beautiful uh, uh, guest house, all other facilities. And you have infrastructure, so in future, it can be done again in uh, Sarnath or in some other places. You have certain other organizations in uh, Mysore, in Mungar and uh, Dharamsala. There are many places. Also, there are some places of uh, Hindus, uh, you know, uh, like uh, in Bangalore, there are some places. Some, they can do it. Uh, yeah. So I am requesting all of you to think over it uh, so that in future we can lead India in that way. Yes, yes. Thank you, Professor Sisraiji. Uh, now I request Honorable former Director Professor Lopsan Noguji to say something about this uh, symposium and about the feedback as well. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Respected uh, Professor Sisraiji, Madhuji, co chair and all the galaxies of scholars who are coming up from different parts of India. And this short uh, two days in you know, a symposium on art, geometry, sacred, all these things. It's a wonderful occasion being you know, organized. But uh, it's a, such a coincidence that uh, our students, young students, could not attend. And myself also, afternoon, you know, Champa has requested me to come. Otherwise, uh, we are having, you know, very shortly in uh, last uh, December, the uh, His Holiness Dalai Lama is coming here uh, for two days, you know, international conference on uh, Indian classical thoughts and modern science. Yeah, yeah. It's, and then it is our Golden Jubilee celebration also. It's uh, the 30 and 31st. Uh, December and uh, first January it will be our Golden Jubilee celebration. So everyone is, you know, busy, and all the students and we are having two, three meetings, you know, for that. And uh, so it's a uh, hectic programs as going on. So many of the uh, our young students could not come out. To, this is maybe a reason for that. Well, before before British came, you know, there is a holistic thinking. Our, our thinking process and all our things, are, whether it's through uh, religion or languages, you know, we have no, you know, differences. And after that, the, you know, partition, you know, it started and it was a big blow. And it's a very sad thing, also political people also using these things, everything, you know, coming out to divide. And so, the core of the Indian philosophy, I am Nijaha Parati Veti Laguchetasam Udhar Charita Nam Tu Vasudeva Kutam This is the still true today. Today we are saying wherever you go, you and me, I and you, I and you, you know. Nobody says we. So the problem lies here. And its impact from that we are, you know, what Gandhi just said, you shouldn't uh, keep away the British, 
but the Britishness in you, you have to, you know, but that still is going on, whether it's through education system, whether it's the impact of the, you know, British Raj, you know, still we are carrying all these things. And due to this, that we have all divisions coming up, and it's a problem, you know, facing us. I say, there's a diversity, you know, with that, but there's a unity in that. But today, it's a, a time that uh, India has looked as a very dangerous place, you know. So therefore, I think we have to change this sort, this sort of thinking, this thought process that India was a great country and it is great now and will be great. And will be, a, I think, a pathfinder to the West and to the other parts of the world. Because there are too much, you know, sort of spirit in here, too much, you know, we have a resource, you know, in, in ourselves, you know. And you can see that, you know, in just as a brief, you know, recollection. 1984 was that the breaking point when His Holiness landed in America first time, and he just said that Indian philosophy and modern science will be a good marriage if they come together. So that was the starting point. Until now. Three decades more than that, he's always you know, gone with the mind and life science, and it has come so closer. And uh, I was uh, fortunate that one of the monastery, you know, seminars, uh, Professor Raja Ramana was there, and we, he shared that, uh, you know, quantum mechanics. The first time I was hearing from him was that, oh, Nagarjuna, you know, the great philosopher, he has already, you know. Uh, uh, set about fundamentals because more more than this yes, and only the in the twentieth uh, century you know Einstein came and said that one. So I think this is a high time that India you know sort of understanding is a more holistic you know. If you see Ayurveda or the Tibetan Swarupa, whatever you say, we just have a holistic uh, understanding of the, our physiology. But uh, today's, you know, uh, dentist, eye specialist, ear specialist, okay? And if you go, then they don't know this here, what is the connection with that thing. So this is the important thing here, lining edge. The silver lining is that you don't have. And there's no why you problem at all in the allopathic thing. They will give you antibiotics, that's all. And this is because in the West, there's, there's a individualism, started with that and then second thing is what you have is that it's an only brain functioning there's no mind this is the one thing you know all the scientists also agree all the philosophers we always I mean I dispute with them you know western philosophers that they say there's a consciousness or mind but in the set if you say no there's only brain and in the eastern philosophy you have see the you know, mind as a as a a vehicle on the subtle winds when we come off, and that's why the why you problems all this are coming up. And this is, a, I think, if you see nowadays, uh, even in the subtle, you know, sort of highly meditated person who goes, you know, after that, you know, he can, you know, stay uh, in a fixed point meditating for 25 days. And with doctors, they come and see that he's not dead. It happened in also in some New Zealand. It also happened in, in, in South India, where the doctors went there and just tested that he's not dead. He's not dead. He's not alive. But in the middle place, he's there, because everything intact. There's no rotten, you know, smells coming out around that for 25 days. You know, so these are the something facts that are coming up as a very. The, Scientists even are, you know, startled to what what it means, you know. So science has still a long way to come, and that has bridged, you know, smaller with the third, three decades before. The now, uh, if you may, I heard that Richard Davidson, one of the physicists who is coming here also on the 30th, 30th and 31st to give his lectures here. So these people, you know, so it is high time that we should treat, you know, not as a very specialized thing as it used to be in the, uh, the, the perspective of the West, that there should be specialization everywhere. 
but it is the holistic how it is related correlated it's more important there. to sustainable it means here we have the correlation so it is the purna that is more important than more you know in a particular ways you know so i think these are the high time when we the younger generations understand as a physiology it also we should is important and the whole world it is more connect interconnected and that's uh, the indians you know great master you know supersonic masters they have said you know you know udar chari dam no vasudeva kumudu means we are whole family sharing you know human beings we are fast and we are secondarily other things uh, then whether religion or sex or whatever you know but we are human beings the human you know intelligence and if you see that you know whatever you know the science you know the applied science you know the plastics problems environmental we are telling us today is the most hazardous you know things we are coming from the science you know here if you see you go down here i don't know in delhi you don't find in bangalore i don't don't know if you go here purwa mein chai peete purwa in that mat mat pot so we still have you know and so eco friendly you know people put down and tongas when i used to come here in 60s uh, 70s then there was tongas for that and it's so environment friendly now you have every plastics and all the problems are more of that it cannot be burned it can be just put under you know things you know so it is high time that we understand the global you know thing you know global warming all these are connected with us and how and why in buddhism how and why in um, sikhism environment in you know islam and why in you know, other jainism you know how is important that text you know we should also understand the important things you know underlying all those things then we understand okay not only the internal but outer is also important then because it's sustainable so we have to sustain it therefore such symposium seminars are very important for the coming generation because it the generation is the coming is the their generation it's survival for that it, it there's only two ways or either we violence or non violence so for the for future generation non violence is better you know and so therefore a lot of things has evolved from his holiness in you know, a contributions by his, you know secular ethics coming up in the schools and beyond religion these are some finest books he has come up universal in a single atom these are the something he has really you know from a buddhistic uh, uh, point how he has really uh, imbibe whole world as a one family he says he, i am a same human beings among Seven billion human beings, he's saying. So they were the same. So we have to have that much of you know thinking process, and then try to think of all other people for said because you know in Hindu also whatever. Parupkare punyaya, par pedanam papai. Sapa papa sakaranam kushala sa pusambada sa chet pariyada panang etang buddha nang sasanam. So if you are not going to any doing thing, any for others welfare for the other sentient being, we are not religious. Only for your self interest, you know, it's not religious. We might be, you know, pious, righteous would be there, but we are not religious. We have to be, you know, keep the others before our front, and then we have to work. And these ethics, secular ethics. which we have imbibed it needs to promote for the human more uh, ethics coming into the younger generations so with these words again i think there's our vice chancellor will be always happy to you know to organize such a conference here and uh, we have the venue and i think the expenses are not a big thing you know so i think we will invite you again you know to next time also with the consent of the our vice chancellor you know we will again see together more people you know more uh, diversity inter discipline you know scholars you know coming out together and we will enjoy and that the younger generation will be 
benefited and uh, very near to our here the three three more universities you know banaras hindu university sambran and, and uh, mahatma gandhi kashi vidyapeet all these five things five now <laughs> thank you rana ji ha daru islam ya yes 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 sorry five Yeah, there's more in the, yes, yes, partial not, and it's, there's so many others. So we can be people, but yeah, so we can have all those things, right, right. Or we we go to that partial I was saying, or to be BHU, or to Sampuranan, or any other things. Again, one day or two days. Okay. I wanted to share with you since you raised the question of ecology. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Very good. It's been extremely successful. Right. Two of my students are now teaching in Sri Nagar, and they have introduced the same course. Oh, okay. Very so nice. Is, uh, yeah. Okay, you look at all the religions, and you know, you look at the relationship of humans with nature. Right. How religious texts yes. yes. are discussed. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah, thank you very much again you know for all the participants you know namaskar fir milenge puna milishati bhavishyam bhavishyat kale thank you very much sir now uh, i request mr kunka nyingbo uh, organizing committee member my uh, co coordinator so uh, i request kunka nyingbo to thank our uh, chair uh, other speakers and other all the scholars as well thank you uh, thank you for your wonderful speech sir okay <clears throat> now we have reached the end of this sacred geometry and the design in nature and interplay art science and philosophy now we come to the end of this sessions and i on behalf of the organization committee would like to propose a word of thanks to our chief guest the former vice chancellor uh, professor lopsan nula who despite his busy schedules has found time to grace in this occasion and i ex- i also express my heartly thanks to administration of uh, central university of tibetan studies to provide this uh, wonderful facility and wonderful time for all the scholars and the whole the participants my heartly thanks to distinguished uh, scholar and the pre- uh, paper presentation and all the students and the scholar who involved in this uh, uh, seminar or symposiums occasions and last but not the least i thanks to professor wang jung negi and the dr chamba uh, your cooperation in making this functions so wonderful and successful one then thank you so much i think uh, we have the multimedia and through the library we can ask them you know to upload that in the youtube you know the se- segments yeah. for the benefit of more other re- more you know readers yeah. okay thank you so we will try uh, i think most of the videography uh, that store in our university uh, most of this videography uh, they are accessible online through our library i think so Uh, because most of the books and uh, digital form of book these are all available in library through online i think it's available huh? mr mr ji yeah yeah mr oh, yeah he is knows na no? assistant library so we have stored in this and how we will try to do uh, whatever it is uh, possible from our side to input in this uh, uh, youtube and in today's gadget uh, era <laughs> so i thank you professor lopsan buji and dr uh, professor onju ji and of course my uh, friend and organizer committee member mr kungwa nyingbo who is always been busy with uh, me and whatever i request him there's no no from his mouth and whatever i say he, i request he will do it whether it's uh, day or night so i thank you mr kungwa nyingbo ji and uh, also 
all the participants and speakers who come from different parts of the uh, nations, and also not only nations, from Australia, international as well. There are a few international. <coughs> so thank you all for your being here. Thank you.